Hey, how's going? Today I'll show you how to get the AM player to your Fire Stick or Android TV. That's a media player that can be used in a lot of movie applications. It works pretty stable and will allow you to watch movies without buffering or lags. So now, without any further ado, let me show you how to get the AM player to your device. First of all, you'll have to get an app called Unloader. You can actually get it for free from the official Amazon App Store. To do so, just go to search on your device and here in the search bar, start typing Downloader. And as you can see, Downloader has already popped out for us at the bottom. So we click on it and download the app to your device. But after you get Downloader, it's not over yet. We'll still have to set it up. So to set up Downloader, we'll go to settings. Here we are. So we click on that button with the gear icon and then scroll down and go to My Fire TV. Open it. And here we'll have to enable developer options on your device. But on some Fire Sticks, and especially on the new Fire Stick devices, the developer options can be hidden by default. So if that's the case, and you cannot find developer options anywhere, no need to worry, it's actually easy to make them appear. Just go to About, select Fire TV Stick, and now you'll have to click on the middle button on your remote for seven times and do it fast. So let's do it. And as you can see, now at the bottom for me it says no need, you are already a developer. And in your case, it's going to say that you have become a developer now. So if you go back a bit, you will finally see developer options, which have appeared for you right here. Open them, make sure to enable ADB debugging, then go to install unknown apps, from here, you'll have to locate the loader and turn that option on. So what it's going to do is going to allow you to install other applications from the internet and not necessarily only those apps, which are only available in the official Amazon App Store by default. And now, finally, we can use the loader. So we go back to the list of apps near your device and there you'll find the loader, which was set up and it's ready to use on your device. But before actually using the loader, there's one more thing which you always recommend doing. It's of course connecting to a VPN. In my case, I mostly use NordVPN because they're super fast, we got a great app for Fire Sticks, Android TVs, phones, laptops, or pretty much any other device you may use. And they're not expensive for such a premium service. In fact, they cost less than a cup of coffee per month, which is great pricing for us, the users. In the VPN app, we just connect to any server, let's say I will connect to Italy right now, and from the moment you connect, all your traffic is going to be totally encrypted. It means no one can track you or snoop on you online, and that's really important if you want to stay out of trouble. And if you don't have a VPN yet, but you want to try it out, I do have a great offer for you. If you use my link, which will be in a pinned comment below the video, or in the description of the video, you'll get three months of NordVPN totally for free, which is an amazing offer. And if you're watching this video on your TV or on your Fire Stick, then just grab your phone or your computer, open up a web browser and go to topvpnoffer.com. That's my website, which is going to give you the same amazing deal for NordVPN with three months for free. Or just scan the QR code, which you can see on your screen right now with a camera of your phone. It works the same way and it's also going to give you the same deal for Nord. And now, finally, let's use the loader safely. So let's go back to the list of apps on your device, fire up the loader and wait until the app loads for you. Then on the left side menu, it's very important that you click on home and not on browser. So once again, make sure that you have clicked on home and in here in that search bar, we will need to enter a code, which is going to be two, eight, Apologies, 8, 9, 0, and 7. So once again, the code is 28907. That's the code that you have to enter. Make sure not to make any mistakes because otherwise the code would not work. After that, you have to click on go. And while the website is loading, make sure to subscribe my channel so you would get even more content about Fire Sticks. As well as please hit the like button below this video. It truly helps me a lot and this way I'll be able to create even more videos for you. And after the website has opened, we just have to scroll down a bit until you see that list of categories. 
And from here, you have to click on media players, which is right here. So we click on media players. Then a huge list of apps is going to open up for you. And there's the AM player that we are looking for. Now we have to click on it and then an ad might pop up for you. So if you see an ad, then just click on close or on X to close it down. And after that, a new web page is going to open, which you also have to scroll down until you see the download for Fire TV mobile button. So we got to click on download for Fire TV. And now the download has started. As you can see, that was super fast. Then you have to click on install and wait until AM player gets installed to your Fire Stick or Android TV device, depending on what kind of device you're using. Then don't click on open yet. Instead, press on done, because this way we'll be able to delete the installation files, as we don't need them anymore on our device. So we click on delete and then delete once again. This way we get rid of unnecessary installation files from the Fire Stick and save yourself some free space on your device. And that's really important, because by default you don't have too much of free space on your device anyway. Now finally, let's go to the list of apps on your device, which is right here. Scroll down and here you'll find AM Player, which we just unloaded. Now I would recommend you to click on the Options button on your remote. That's the button with three horizontal lines. Click on it and then press on Move to Front. This way AM Player is always going to be at the very top of your application list and therefore it's going to be super easy for you to access the app every time needed. Just don't forget to keep the VPN connected to stay safe and out of trouble. Enjoy and see you next time. Bye bye.